Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and on today's Editing Tip Tuesday, I want to show you how you can change the color of clothes in Photoshop. Now this tip works best if the clothes you want to change the color of are solid. If there's crazy patterns or textures or plaids, this technique might not work as well. But here, I'm going to take this solid colored hot pink shirt and I'm going to change it to match some of the other color palette from the rest of the image. So I'd like to make the hot pink maybe more a blue gray or blue green like some of the other colors I'm getting from this photo. The first thing I'm going to do is come up to the top and choose layer, new, layer, and then click OK. So over here, all we did was create a new layer. Next, we're going to sample some of the colors that we want to change. So here, I'm going to be taking a look at the hot pinks that are in her shirt. I'm going to come up to select color range. When I do that, I have a new box that pops up. We're going to first change this select drop down menu from wherever it's at on your um, program to sampled colors because we want to sample just this color range in her shirt. Then we're going to go to selection preview and we're going to preview this in grayscale. This is going to give us a better idea of exactly where those color range colors are. So with my eye drop selected, I'm just going to click on an area of the photo where I know that hot pink color is. And you can see when I do that, it automatically selected just that color range. The rest is all blacked out. Now, if on yours you're noticing there's a lot of colors still popping through, you might want to adjust the fuzziness a little bit. So you can see if mine was up more, there would be more of those color ranges that were selected. So I just brought mine down. So you want to play around with that fuzziness so it really detects the colors that you want to work with. Now, I see there's still some blackened areas on her shirt. That means those colors aren't sampled yet. So I'm going to come over to the plus eyedropper, and I'm just going to click on some of those black areas that were not sampled. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to adjust the fuzziness more, though, because I did notice that when I did that, more of the color range popped out in the rest of the photo. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit and see how that affects the shirt. And that's looking pretty good. Now I do notice that the lips are still shining through. That's okay because we can always erase that in the layer mask later on. So once you get your colors sampled to where you think it looks great, I think it looks pretty good like this, you're going to click OK. And you can see my sampled area come up around here already. The next thing you're going to want to do is come down and create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to click this circle that's half black and white, and I'm going to choose Hue Saturation. From there, I'm going to take a look at my Hue slider, and I'm going to move it the direction to the color I'd like the shirt to be. So if I wanted it to be purple or blue or teal, or if I go this way, I get some other colors as well. You're going to choose the color that you like the best for your image. So here I might take the hot pinks and I was originally thinking blue, but maybe I'll go more with a purple. I'm kind of liking the way that that looks after I've played with it. It's a little too saturated though, I feel like. So I'm going to take my saturation on that color and just bring it down a little bit. You might choose to bring it up a little more. It's totally up to you. You can also play around with this lightness slider to make the color a little bit darker or maybe more pastel, maybe a bit lighter. So you've got to kind of play around with that and see exactly how you want your color to look. Now, once again, remember how I said that the lips were also changing colors? Well, on this hue satur saturation layer, the layer mask is right here. So all I have to do is take my brush, set it to black, and erase it off any areas where I don't want that color to pop through. And that's it. Now here it is. Let's take a look. There it is with the hot pink shirt. And there it is with the more purplish blue shirt.
and we could have made this just about any color that we wanted to in any shade and saturation. Like I said, it's totally up to you. Play around with it and see how it works for you. And as always, if you do play around with this tutorial and you're over on Instagram, I love, love, love seeing what you come up with. So make sure to mention or tag me. My handle is at Cozy Clicks over on Instagram so I can take a peek at what you did with this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching again today. And I would love if you would subscribe to my channel where I will add new tutorials all the time. See you next time. If you'd like to join me in my new portrait editing online workshop, you can for free. You can register in the link below or by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash the workshop. Hope to see you over there.